Obviously, from the title of this video, you can tell that we are going to be going over the Summer Oily Color Pass for 2020. I just signed up for this this year because I really like this collection and I don't have any oilies really. I have one um, and I thought this would be a really nice way to kind of get some more in my collection. If you don't know what the Color Pass is, you pay a flat fee. It changes depending on like different promotions, but you get every collection from Orly for the next year. So I will be getting the summer, fall, um, winter, and spring collection um, for the next year. And I just figured I would do a video on each one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. The colors look really awesome and I cannot wait to get into playing with them a little bit more. So I don't quite have time to swatch, um, like live swatch everything, but I figured we would make some swatch sticks of all of the polishes and then I'll pick one and do a manicure with it. So I already introduced you to the colors. I'm really excited to have the color pass. So happy that I'll be getting some more oilies in my collection, but let's just get into making some swatch sticks. If you haven't seen my swatch stick video from a while ago, it's pretty much all the same. I will link it down below so that you can see how I make them and kind of why I make them for my collection. But let's just start with the first polish, which is Psych. <laughs> Sticks, it looks like everything is pretty much two coats. I see a few dark spots in the yellow polish, so that one might be like a two and a half or kind of even out depending on your application. But all the colors just look so beautiful, and now I need to label them. And I'm already like, I don't know what color to pick. I'm really leaning towards the yellow, it looks really cute. Um, let me do labels and then I'll figure it out.
to do the yellow. It's a little obnoxious, but I kind of really, really like it. So let's get into a manicure. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I'm not doing stuff on like camera, I obviously I have like the TV playing. I just finished Jane the Virgin for the second time and every single time it like does the last episode and then they go into like their little interview episode. Oh, it gets me all emotional. Okay, so I picked the yellow. Um, I figured I might as well go with something super obnoxious. So, I'm going to do my Zoya Naked Base, the Orly Yellow in O Snap, and then my Heart is Ice Top Coat. Um, I'm so sorry that I didn't have time to do swatches for everything. Maybe I will with the next collection. I literally just signed up for this, and then it came... Um, maybe a week later or so so I didn't have a ton of time on my calendar and with it being summer our plans have kind of just exploded because um, obviously we can like be together outside now with a smallish group of friends so our weekends are pretty full so I didn't have time to fit in an entire swatch video but I figured I would make the swatch sticks and then we could at least do our nails with one color. How is everybody doing with everything? Are you guys still being super cautious or are you like just going for it? Um, I'm in Indiana and we pretty much have like a steady rate, like we're not having too many issues. I think we're one of like in the map the like greener colors um but we're still being fairly cautious we really haven't gone out um except for the grocery store we have both been going to the gym um but our gym has like every other machine is like off and there's just a lot of um like distance social distancing at the gym but that's really the only place that we've gone um, if we do anything with our friends, it's pretty much all outside. So, yeah, we're, we're still being pretty cautious. Um, in our county, not like the whole state, but in our county specifically, we have a mask mandate. So we have to wear a mask if we're outside. Um, which I don't have an issue with because I was already wearing a mask, but... But I hope everyone's staying safe in whatever capacity you think that that is. Um, at this point, like I said, we're still being really safe. But for mental health, I've got to do something. Um, but, yeah. Obviously, my cruise is completely canceled. I'm so upset. Me and my friend are really... We're just upset. We've been planning it literally since 2018. Um, so we're not doing that, but I still kept most of my vacation from work just to kind of get a break. And um, the boyfriend and I ended up planning a kind of like long weekend in Southern Indiana at this park. Not like at the park. We rented an Airbnb um, a little ways away from the park and we're gonna do some kayaking and like some hiking and stuff. So. We won't be seeing anyone, but um, we'll get out of the house a little bit, which is what I need. Um, again, like I work from home. I have been working from home. So the only time I got to get out was when I was going shopping or eating out or something. And now we can't really do any of that. <laughs> so I was like, I need to get out of the house for longer than a grocery trip. So we are going to do that. We were gonna camp, but by the time you, like we don't have a lot of camping stuff. We have like a tent and maybe a couple lanterns. But obviously like, I would want an air mattress and all that stuff. So we, um, we don't have all of that. So by the time we would buy all the stuff that we would need to camp with, we could have just rented the Airbnb. So that's what we did. And we can obviously cook a bunch there, so. We'll be grilling and cooking and just kind of hanging out and then we'll kayak and go on a hike.
I did have a book goal this year and I, um, I, I was doing really good and then I started reading this book and I just was not feeling it and so um, I just kind of stopped reading because I don't like starting new books in the middle of other books so I'll be really stubborn and be like I'll get to the book I'll finish it and I won't start anything and then before I notice it's like a month and a half later and I haven't read anything so I finally officially gave up on that book and um, I started an audiobook that was recommended to me from one of the people I am like insta friends with and dude it is a good book the first few chapters I was like okay this is like getting boring but they were just setting up the story and now that the story's set up I'm like ooh, that's interesting I almost never wear yellow nail polish I don't know why I was totally driven to this one but it could be that it could be that it's more of a neon and it's summer and all I want right now is neons. Okay, there is the first coat. I'm gonna use my little fan to kind of dry it just to make sure that it's really dry because with these like weird formula kind of polishes, the neon sometimes will get patchy. So I'm gonna use my fan to help dry it completely and hopefully it won't be super patchy. Did any of you watch the podcast um, from Christine, Simply No Logical? She had a podcast recently that was just talking about um, kind of getting paid for your work as a creator um, and like sponsorships and different things about being a creator basically um it was a really interesting podcast I feel like I've always been fairly boisterous on my um thoughts on that because you can't you can't label someone a creator and then not pay them for the creations like you're clearly wanting something that they're doing um but you're not respecting what they're doing. So I'm really glad that she came out with that. It was kind of circling the Instagram nail community for those couple days that it was out. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was just really interesting. I just really think that people don't realize how new social media and marketing on social media can, can be and it, it's a lot of work. That's another thing people don't realize. So if something is a lot of work, even though I love it, I want to make sure that whatever work I'm doing is being appreciated. Um, and so I just was really happy that she came out with that podcast because it made me feel like someone that was kind of bigger and that's been around for a while understood and also thought the same things. Um, because I've had a lot of people be kind of negative on that. And I completely understand like the fake sponsorships. And I don't really know if I can trust people that take sponsorships. But hopefully if you're making like good choices on who you're watching and who you're supporting. Then you would be excited for them to have a sponsorship or for them to be... Um, getting paid for their their work if you are watching someone that you don't think that would um that you'd be able to believe if they did a sponsorship then maybe you shouldn't be watching them um and I've said this on my Instagram too I'm not wanting to make money off of this I love sharing this crap with you guys like it's ridiculous it's not crap but it is like it's <laughs> I have almost 400 nail polishes. That's absolutely ridiculous, but it's my hobby. It's my thing, and I'm not wanting to make money off of it, but currently, um, I choose when I'm doing my nail polish. So if I have something that I'm wanting to do, but the boyfriend wants to order pizza and watch a movie, 
I'm choosing to go watch a movie with him. But if I have something where a brand was like, hey, I sent you these for free. Why can't you give me content with them? Um, it's basically like I'm now having to, I'm now having to do this versus choosing to do my nails, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm giving up time with my boyfriend or doing other hobbies. And that's where I'm like, yes, I need to be compensated for that. Um, so it's just kind of, I just hope brands understand that. Like, and it's not just, I've had one brand say, well, I have to pay you to pay. I have to pay you to post on Instagram. And my response was, no, you don't have to pay me to post on Instagram. You have to pay me for the following that I have created and the knowledge that I have, that I have used my time to um, create and learn and all of that and my reach and engagement. And that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the knowledge, the skill, and the time, not necessarily the Instagram post, obviously, because clicking post on Instagram does not take that long. But when I have to sit here and film, I have to sit here and swatch, I sit here and edit, and then I put it together and I do a caption and then I make sure it's posted on, on time. And then I interact in the comments with the people that comment. That's, it gets to be time consuming and people don't realize that. So I'm going to stop talking. I feel like I've talked about this a lot. Anyway, basically just know your worth. Understand that content, content creators are creating something, so they should be compensated for that. If a brand wants to send me PR, if there's a brand that I'm friends with, if there's a brand that's like, hey, could you get me this real quick? Um, I'm in a bind, whatever, and I've worked with them before. Cool. That's all fine and well. Like I said, I'm not trying to make money off of this. But if a brand says, I need you to do this, this, and this, and I'm going to need it by this, this, and this date, then I'm going to be like, well, I'm going to need this, this, and this money because... Like I said, I'm compensating somewhere in my life to make that work. Okay, so moving on. I did two coats, like I said. I definitely think it's going to need three. My right hand is looking a little bit better than my left, which is kind of the case a lot of the time. There's something right here. Which is kind of the case a lot of the time because when I paint with my left hand, I feel like I try to be more careful. So you can probably definitely see maybe the differences, but again, I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I will come back and do a third coat. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. Oh, the little like extra Jane the Virgin episode is just the cutest thing ever. Um, comment down below if you have one, if you have not watched it, I highly recommend. Um, I feel like it's a great show with like the characters and everyone is just so great. It's, a very high um latina latino um character base it's wonderful it's a great show but besides that the arc is wonderful the characters are great all of the crazy stories and the telenovela like um theme is wonderful but if you have watched it comment are you raf or michael um i'm team raf i think michael like I don't know, Michael, like, I feel like, just like Raphael says, Michael's a little shady. I don't, I don't 100% trust him. <laughs> um, and part of that is just because, like, he's a detective and um, he kind of has to, like, hold back on some things. But I also think that Jane and Raphael were just meant to be. But anyway, back to, what was I talking about? Oh, I had en ended my my rant. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, man. So I'm going to be filming two, hopefully, other videos today. Um, I have the Orly Color Pass, which is this one on my schedule. And then I also have, like, my Amazon nail orders, kind of, like, what I, what I have ordered from... Amazon and then um, the next video in my nail 101 which is nail care um, so 
hoping to get those filmed before we have to leave. Leaving at three to do kind of um, like family, but not like a big giant family. Um, again, rented like an Airbnb and we're just gonna go meet the family for a little bit down south and hang out for the weekend. They've been there a little bit longer than we are gonna go. We're just going for one day, but we're literally just hanging out at an Airbnb <laughs> for the day. I think they said something about like a candy shop or something, but that's the extent of the plans. Okay, these are looking pretty good. Hopefully once I get a top coat on them, they'll be okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup kind of off camera just because it's easier that way. Um, and then I'll be back and share kind of some I don't know, final thoughts or something. Okay, my friends, that is this manicure all done. I really like the yellow. I think it's fun. I think it's definitely like summer and wonderful. I think this would be beautiful on your toes. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my first season of the Orly Color Pass. Like I said, I'll try to do a full like swatch with the next season. Um, obviously that will be fall. I can't wait for that and I hope that it is wonderful but again I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one